Water! 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 Purifying water with nanotechnology. This new process is hitting news headlines across the globe by taking a normal piece of cotton cloth and dipping it in a solution of silver nanowires and carbon nanotubes. Scientists are creating a water purification process that makes path pathogens think twice about which water hole they might want to take their next swim in. Silver nanowires are simply a silver nanostructure with a diameter of a nanometer, 10 to the negative ninth power. As for a carbon nanotube, well, it is a tube made of carbon nanoparticles between 100 and 1 nanometer. To give you an idea of the size of a nanometer, we go to nanoscientist Molly Huell for an example. Thanks, Dwops. I'm here with Molly Huell in her research facility. A human hair is 10,000 nanometers wide. When we're talking about nanoparticles between 100 and 1 nanometers, we're talking very small. Wow, that is small. So how do you use these nanowires and tubes to purify water? What is the process? Well, first we take a regular piece of cotton cloth and dip it in a broth of silver nanowires and carbon nanotubes. The nanowires and nanotubes are so small, they will fuse into the cloth from the broth. It is left to dry. This cloth, which now has silver nanowires and carbon nanotubes infused throughout it, is then layered with other cloths which went through the same process until they make a thickness of 2.5 inches, which makes up the filter. Unlike most water purification filters, which capture the live pathogens, which end up clogging the filter, the nano purification works like this. The silver, which in a colloidal state, eliminates virtually all known pathogens, including cholera, typhoid, and E. coli, mixed with the carbon nanotubes, gives the process a highly charged electrical current, which is extremely deadly to pathogens. In one lab test done at Stanford University, 98% of all the E. coli that was in the water they treated with this process was killed after just a few seconds in the filter. So we're really not filtering water, we're purifying it of pathogens which can be and are life-threatening to people who drink it by killing them with an electrical field caused by the reaction between the nanowires and tubes. The clean water flowed through very quickly without any help or need of a pump. Actually, since we have no need of a pump in this process, we are saving energy. That seems like a very quick way to purify water, but what about the cost? I would imagine that it could be very expensive. Actually, this is a very inexpensive way to purify water and can be used in remote areas where people don't have any access to chemical treatments. Since the filters do not clog, you have no need to replace them, as well as no need for a pump or electricity, because the silver and carbon generate their own to kill the pathogens. This is all very interesting, but would you mind showing us a little example on how the filter works, for those of us who are more visual learners? The high electrical current between the silver nanowires and carbon nanotubes instantly kills most, if not all, pathogens which pass between the two. Although they are allowed to pass into the drinking water, these pathogens are now harmless, so there is no need for any further worry. A nanowire looks like this. It is a small nanostructure with a diameter of a nanometer, 10 to the negative ninth power. So when we talk about silver nanowires, we are simply referring to pieces of silver that have a diameter of 10 to the negative ninth power nanometers and look like this. Nanotubes are tubes made up of nanoparticles, 100 to 1 nanometers. In this case, carbon. A carbon nanotube looks as though many hexagons were formed together and then made into a tube. How amazing is that? Well, I'd like to thank you for your time and hard work. Hopefully one day, everyone will have a solution to clean water.
Back to you, Wayne. Isn't it just amazing what scientists are figuring out? Hopefully by watching this broadcast you have been enlightened on how they are using nanotechnology to quickly and inexpensively purify water. Tune in tomorrow to see how scientists are using nanotechnology to make paper batteries. Until then, this is Wayne Dwoss from Channel News 16 wishing you a good day and remember to drink your water. Purification. Thank God for nanotechnology. Poor man.